Hola, yo soy Damián Bichir. Y yo soy Chris Whites. Okay. Chris, bueno. por qué te interesó trabajar en el tema de la inmigración mexicana en Estados Unidos. Okay, well, I mean, first I have to admit that the reason I made the movie originally was because it was just such a great script about an interesting situation between a father and a son. And it was only while I was making it that I realized how important this film uh, could be because um, the question of immigration in my country has become very, very ugly. And a lot of people are not telling the truth about it. The truth of the matter is that there are 11 million people who are working very hard to make life more comfortable for uh, the rest of the country. Uh, that it is impossible to uh, deport all of them, nor would we want to. If you look in Alabama, uh, in Georgia, where they've made laws against um, undocumented immigrants, the fruits are rotting in the fields. Um, so we have to admit that we want those people there, uh, but we're using them instead as the targets for political rhetoric. Uh, and so if this movie can uh, show uh, the life of a very um, dignified man who's trying to take care of his family, uh, to raise his son properly, uh, and it's a very authentic story, um, then it's possible we can change people's minds. Okay, thank you. And también, in this sense, do you think this film would help to contribute to the discussion to generate a new reform migratoria? Yo creo en el poder del cine para muchas cosas. Yo creo en, en, en el poder que tiene dos horas de imágenes y de textos, de, de un lenguaje significante. Eh, esa sería una fortuna. Si esta película puede provocar eso, habremos cumplido un doble objetivo, no nada más conmoverte y emocionarte o eh, distraerte un poco de tus problemas sino eh, llevar a la mesa una definitiva reforma migratoria, como dice Chris, para ser un poco eh, justo con toda esta gente que hace la vida más fácil y mejor de los norteamericanos, ¿no? de todos los que vivimos allá. Eh, sí creo que estamos estancados en eso, que es un problema humano y no político como insisten en hacerlo algunos gobernantes con poca imaginación.